Hello, Eric Ripley with Shift Key Solutions. Today I'm going to show you uh, the steps involved in importing a macro <clears throat> into Excel 2007. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we need to go to our View tab here. Open up our View tab in our ribbon, or I should say our View ribbon. We're going to come over to our macro group and click on the drop down arrow for macros. Then the first thing we need to do is record a sample macro. So we're going to click right here record macro and I'm going to not name anything. I'm not going to change anything because it's just a sample. I'm going to click OK and it has a default name there macro 1. I'm going to come right back to my drop down and choose stop recording. And now I have a macro in my Excel program. Now I'm going to click the drop down again and choose view macros. Okay and so there's my sample. Good. All I need to do is have this sample here so I can access the uh, back side of the VBA Visual Basics applications for the um, macros. Now from here, I'm going to choose right up here where it says Step Into. And click that. And now it's going to take me to the back side, the Visual Basics side. <clears throat> now that I'm inside here, I'm going to go to my file. And because I've already, uh, I have my macro um, on my desktop right now, the one that I want to import into here. Um, I'm going to go to File, Import File, and then I'm going to come over here to my desktop. Oops, desktop. And then I'm going to scroll down looking for my macro that I want, and here it is. I'll click on it. It's a BAS file extension. I'm going to click Open, and now it's imported. And if I look closely, I'll see that it's imported right here. If I open this, click the expand indicator, click this, and double click to activate it. it, it is truly the student roster one that I want to import. So good, I just verified that it's in here. I'm going to click close here. It's going to say, are you sure? It's going to stop the debugger. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm back to my Excel. Now that I'm back into Excel, I want to associate that macro that I just recorded to my quick access toolbar. I want to associate it to a button. So I'm going to click this drop down arrow here for customizing my quick access toolbar. I'm going to come down to more commands. And then up here I'm going to choose what commands are commands from I'm going to click that drop down and choose macros. And there it is, my student roster macro that I have in here. I'm going to add that over. <clears throat> and instead of that little icon, I want to modify that. So I'm going to choose modify right here. And then I can scroll through and choose any one of these really neato mosquito pictures or whatever else. If I'm smart, I'll choose one that kind of relates to what I'm doing here. And in this case, this little guy here might be best associated. It's a little picture of a headshot. I'll click OK. <clears throat> so now I have this uh, icon associated to what I'm doing in here in the macro. When I'm done, I'm going to click OK. And then voila. There's my button. It's quite that simple. Thanks for joining me.